So here we have Patrick Zercher coming out here and making stupid comments on Twitter. Stupid comments about the comics industry that really doesn't have any bearing or weight anymore. That are pretty much a big nothing burger. To give you an example here. Anyone in Comicsgate hoping to draw comics as a career is choosing a strange way to go about it. Alienating themselves from 95% of comics publishers. Well, here's the thing. If comics publishers want to make some money, Patrick, they're going to end up giving in. They're already giving in right now. Okay? Dynamite has been asking for Comicsgate covers because Comicsgate creators are making big bank. By the way, people asking, what is Comicsgate? Comicsgate is basically the, to, to these morons, it's basically the N-word to anyone that's not a a filtered, uh, approved political political person for comics book comic books. It's confusing. It's stupid. It's hard for me to say because it's so damn dumb. All right. Comicsgate has their look. Let me let me tell you something, Patrick. I mean, if you give me ten grand, I'll probably show off the official Comicsgate membership card. Okay. I might I might be willing to tell you about all the little bitty things that they do to get for you to get into Comicsgate and how you get into us as a group, because I mean no one's been able no one's come out and opened up and showed how Comicsgate makes their members. No one's told them about the initiation process. No one tells them about the hazing you get from Cecil. Okay, my God, the hazing was horrible. I mean, you really are a man if you can go through Cecil's hazing. But I mean, let's be frank here. You're sitting back here, pretty much mouthing at everybody. Telling them that they can't get into town, they can't drive from a town to a city because they have a truck and you have a Corvette right now. A Corvette that's rusty and about to fall apart, but because they ain't got your car, there's no way they can get to the city. Dude, I'm telling you something. That Ford F-150 can still get from point A to point B. It may not get there as fast, but it will still get the job done and it'll still carry a lot more stuff than what you got. And it's a lot less expensive to drive half the time than some clunker you have. But again, as I want to ask this question here to Patrick Zercher, what the heck would I want from a comic book company nowadays? If these 95 publishers don't want to make money, why do I want to be a part of them? That's the point of participating in any kind of business. That's the point of having a career, which is what you said in this comment, is having a career. A career is making money at something, is having a job that's not a job, is having a job that's something you want to do so well and that you make at least enough money at that you can live off of that you enjoy the rest of your life. Like you're, you're living on retirement and making money. You're just doing your hobby for the rest of your life. Why would I want to join up with your ilk? Your ilk right now that don't have any friends. They have freaking allies, okay? Allies. I've said this plenty of times. Allies are just the people that are just waiting to stab you in the back first chance they get. They can't stab you in the back right now because there's somebody bigger than them. They need your help to help to whoop that guy. As soon as he's whooped, they're going to stab you in the back and that's going to be the end of it. They're not loyal. I don't want that. I want friends in the industry, not freaking allies. And secondly, if I want to write black characters, if I want to write queer characters, if I want to write lesbian characters, trans characters, or anything like that, I don't want people like Zercher sitting over my back telling me how I should be writing it when in the process of me screwing up my story, just like they did with The Last of Us Part Two, mind you. That was a complete and total flop. I mean, just destruction. <laughs> because people wanted because nobody wanted to actually make real characters suffer good. And then it made it made absolutely no sense. I'm sorry, Ellie. I'm sorry, but to, to everyone in The Last of Us 2, Ellie should have probably killed Abby, but Abby was trans and Ellie was lesbian, and Abby was higher on the progressive stack. That's why Abby got away. Had nothing to do with Ellie having some moral decision or some moral enlightenment. She literally is just lower on the progressive stack and thus less human than Abby is to these morons. That's why Abby survived. That's why Abby killed Joel, because Joel is lower than Ellie is on the progressive stack, and Abby's above e Ellie. But I mean, let's go even further. What, what, what do I want from you people, where I'm sitting back there and I would end up 
not being paid a whole lot of money because y'all have trouble paying these morons. And most of you comic creators over in the mainstream comic company where it's supposed to be so great are out there having to get GoFundMes to run to pay your freaking bills half the time. Whereas I look over and I see Ethan Van Skyver is about to kill himself. He's so fucking rich eating himself to death, I would love to be like that, you know, go out there and eat pies and steak and lamb chops for the rest of my life because I could fucking afford it. But you have these other idiots, again, you you have nothing, you have, and, and even if I did work for you idiots, like I said before, you morons would be over my case about everything. Every little freaking joke that I would say would have to go through a freaking hate speech filter before it would ever hit the pages. I couldn't have some of the characters I want to put in some of, in the book that I'm writing right now. I mean, dang. I can't have a character that walks around where she's walking around in a thong half the time helping out in a mechanic's garage. That would be nice. But unfortunately for you morons, oh, don't think that that's horrible. You people couldn't do that stuff. Really? 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 I don't, I, I really hate having to deal with people telling me what to do. I, I'll tell you who does this kind of crap, okay? The people who do that kind of crap that go over every little word that you say are the same little punk kids that go around there when you and your buddies would go out and have something remotely fun, do something remotely interesting, would run right back into the classroom at school and go, Teacher, teacher, they're out there having fun and you're not supposed to have fun in school. They're learning how to have math. They're learning math and having fun at it. Teacher, they're on the slide. Teacher, they're on the swings. Teacher, they're sitting back there eating candy. That's the kind of people that are in comic get comic books right now. Comic skate's like, yeah, okay, man. Uh, you want to write a comic book? That's cool. Uh, here's where you gotta. I'll tell you who you gotta. Uh, you know, who you gotta make happy. Who you, who do you, who do I have to impress in Comic Skate to to get my comic book out there? I don't have to impress Ethan. I don't have to impress War Campaign. I don't have to impress Miller. I don't have to impress Tug. I don't have to impress you boy, Zach. I have to impress a group of customers. A group of customers, mind you, that if I'm smart and I play my cards right and I put out something that they want, will throw money at me like I'm the hot stripper over at a strip joint. Okay? These morons over here, I have. you want me to impress a group of people who are not going to pay for my book, who are not going to buy it, and at the end of the day, I'm going to change everything from what it was originally originally intended to be, just like most of Star Wars, mind you, into something that is sanitized and won't sell. There's a reason why the classic, the classic movies that we have are things like Blazing Saddles, okay? That's a classic movie you'd never make nowadays. Die Hard. You'd never make that movie. That's considered the pinnacle of action. Is a dude who looks like an average Joe schmuck. You know, slightly better, slightly a little more fit dad body than normal Bruce Willis. And he's considered one of the best action heroes alive. Okay? he's He is the guy that has the quintessential action hero movie under his belt. A guy that, whose movie, mind you, Die Hard, is considered... And I'm going to harp on Die Hard because I love Die Hard to death. Die Hard is considered the movie that if they put in Arnold Schwarzenegger or Sylvester Stallone, it would have been significantly inferior to the current iteration we have today. That's how perfect Die Hard was. All right? You can't have shows like that anymore because, oh my God, you know, it. It's, it's male toxic masculinity and we don't have enough lesbian representation and, and the black guys were side characters and all this and then and, and just bull crap, all right? It's just, it's full bull crap. Nobody wants to read that crap. They want good, they want good versus evil. Hot chicks. Guys that, that, you know, win by the skin of their teeth no matter what and really good fights, all right? And at the end, they like the dude to get the girl. Maybe give her a kiss. Anyway, my pizza just got done. So that, I guess that'll be the end of this video. But anyway, Pat, let me tell you something right now, okay? I'm going to leave on this comment. Answer me, riddle me this. Why the hell would I want a 2D chick when I can have the real thing? That's what you people say all the time, okay? Why, why are y'all loving on a 2D chick instead of the real thing? Well, guess what, Patrick? The mainstream comics industry is the 2D chick, okay? All we can really do is look at how flat it is. All right? There's nothing of substance. Anyway, folks, 
I'm The Last Raider. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and hit the bell for notification if you enjoyed the video. And as always, stay safe, stay frosty. I'll see you guys in the next video.